In this video, we are going to take a look at the differences in the harvest command layout between the Pro 700 and Pro 1200 display. So right off the bat, you'll notice some similarities. We have our combine cutaway on both screens with our readouts for positions. We have our funnels that indicate harvest command performance. We have our run screens found along the bottom and that's where some of the similarities start to depart. So up here you'll see we have our crop types on the Pro 700 where we can select a different crop type. On the Pro 1200, the crop type is not editable from the run screen. You need to select on your grower farm field and establish a crop type during your machine setup. Another difference you'll see is on the Pro 700, our settings are not able to be adjusted by pressing on the display, whereas on the Pro 1200, the operator can make changes by pressing on the readouts. Both displays will indicate changes made on the right-hand console, but again, the Pro 1200 is not editable from the display. To edit a crop type or performance strategy, you can click on the crop settings button on the Pro 700. Similar on the Pro 1200, the crop settings can be found on the upper right hand toolbar. Again, crop type is not editable from this display, but the work condition can be edited based on factory defaults or any added or saved work conditions that the operator may have uh, supplied on the Pro 1200. It's the same. You can select, select from defaults or pre-saved strategies or work conditions, and you can select your performance strategies between best grain, performance, maximum throughput or fixed throughput, and on the 1200, you have the same drop down and selections. You can edit target max ground speed and target max engine load on both displays. Along the bottom on the Pro 1200, you will see your basic advanced sensitivities, headland, status, ranges, and info bar. Those same tabs can be found on the Pro 1200 along the right hand side of the harvest settings. You have your basic, advanced, sensitivity, headlands, status, info, and browse tabs. So within these tabs, you'll see additional settings, your initial settings, adjustment frequency, threshing conditions, max rotor speed, and sieve load configuration found on the Pro 12, 700. And on the Pro 1200, you also see initial settings, threshing condition, adjust frequency, feed rate sensitivity, and max rotor speed. On our sensitivity tabs, you can adjust, adjust the sensitivity of the sensors on headland, you can adjust your offsets for headland mode on status. You can see the status of our sensors that make up the harvest command system. On the Pro 1200, these are marked as installed but are not editable. On our ranges tab, you can see our range configuration is off. This can be located on the advanced tab on the Pro 1200. We have our info. This will read out your crop type and suggested settings on both machine or on both displays. And on the Pro 1200, we have an additional browse tab where you can open up additional sections. The nice thing about the Pro 1200 is that you can, under harvesting, select two different work conditions and compare your machine settings. 
So you'll see we have the automation default or wet 25% work conditions for corn selected. And you can scroll through these settings and see if there's any differences. So you'll see our lower sieve on default is 13 millimeter opening. It's 14 millimeter opening on the wet condition. You'll see our pre-sieve max has some differences. You can look at sensitivity comparisons. Headland offsets. So some of these will, won't read unless you have saved offsets for your headland mode. Ranges. And feed rate. So that's a quick look at some of the similarities and differences between the Harvest Command system on the Pro 1200 and Pro 700 displays.